when using trig functions um, and when you don't have special triangles it is necessary to use the calculator one that has trig functions on it uh, to be able to solve right triangles so let's look at an example here um, just an aside a calculator is useful in that it has all ratios for all angles between 0 and 90 degrees built into the calculator so if you have an angle 21.9 degrees it'll have the ratio for sine for cosine and for tangent so let's go ahead and see how we would solve this problem uh, we have a 30 60 90 triangle here the side opposite 30 degrees is X so this is opposite this is the hypotenuse and this is adjacent so um, if I was to use trigonometry I would s ask myself okay I know the value of of the side that's adjacent to 30 degrees I need to find the opposite and which trig function do I need to use so I'm going to write my little mnemonic here first so ka toa so what I see is I have opposite and adjacent so let me highlight that okay that didn't work too well opposite adjacent opposite adjacent okay that I see here so that means the tangent function will combine or find a relationship between the opposite and adjacent sides in a right triangle so I say tan short for tangent of 30 degrees all always um, following sine tan cosine you have the angle measure tan of 30 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent so that is equal to x over 10 root 3 hello okay this looks kind of very forbidding but not to worry of 30 degrees so now go to your calculator the first thing you're going to do in your calculator and this is an a TI-84 okay it's just coming up you are going to put in degree mode so let me maximize this go to second mode all right let's try again mm. all right just go to mode I'm sorry okay now go down to the fourth line here and do you see um, where the cursor is blinking it's blinking at normal float radi go to radian and click on degree if it's not highlighted in black it should be and then once you've done that you can just do second quit this means that your calculator is in degree mode that is extremely important the first thing you do for now anyway is put your calculator in degree mode so our calculator is in degree mode before we do anything now I want to find the ratio uh, that corresponds to tangent of 30 degrees so let's go ahead and find the tan key tan key is this lower one tan and then I'm going to put 3 0 close parentheses enter voila now I get even though this is a decimal it's a ratio of some two numbers if I go back to my problem here and I'm going to switch back and forth uh, let me see if I can minimize this okay not too bad not too bad 
well, that, one, that didn't work so well. So tangent of 30 degrees is 0.577 something. Point. And I'm going to say dot dot. Equals x over 10 root 3. So if I want to solve for x, I have to multiply both sides by 10 root 3. 10 root 3. Okay, so this will cancel. So x is equal to 10 root 3 times 0.57 dash 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 dash. All right, back to my calculator. So in my calculator, instead of typing that whole expression in again, I'm going to say second and you see this negative sign on top of that it says ANS second answer I'm going to click that and that means it's going to get this last value and multiply that by 10 and then square root is second and the x squared so the blue corresponds to the blue so even though x squared is highlighted we're really saying second square root and you see that over there 3 so we, if we multiply that and press enter what do we get voila we get 10 nicely done so x is equal to 10 this is using tangent Let's see if this works out using our special triangles, the 30-60-90 theorem. In the 30-60-90 um, triangle, so let's do that again. So this is this is thirty degrees, this is ten root three and this is x. Okay, if I remember my thirty sixty ninety rule the shorter side is opposite thirty degrees. The hypotenuse is going to be two times the shortest side and the long leg is the short leg times root 3. So now I have 10 root 3 equals x root 3. Divide by root 3, divide by root 3 and you get 10 equals x. So this checks using um, both ways, using the calculator as well as special triangles. Let's try one example with the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let's try that here. We'll draw a right triangle again. Okay. So let's try it this way now. Okay, this is an isosceles right triangle, which means this is 45 degrees. And let's say that you are given uh, that This is the hypotenuse is 7 root 2. Because this is isosceles, this angle is going to be 45 degrees. Let's say we want to find this side, x. So,
relative to this angle here, I'm, on, I'm going to label it. Relative to angle A, because that arc touches AB of the side X, this is adjacent. When I say this arc, I mean this angle arc. And it, the other side is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse always stays the hypotenuse. It never changes. It's always the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. So, write my mnemonic again. So, ka, to, ah. I want to find x and I'm given hypotenuse. I want to find adjacent. I want to find adjacent. I'm given hypotenuse. So, here we go. It means I need to use the cosine function. So, I'm going to write the cosine function. And cos 45 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So what is adjacent? x over 7 root 2 cosine 45 degrees. And this time I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Multiply by root 2 on both sides. Okay, so these root 2's cancel out. And I've got x equals root 2 times cosine 45 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the calculator in one go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the screen. Clear the screen. I'm going to make sure my mode is still degree. Yes, it is. So second, quit. Oops, that's not what I meant. Um, and I'm going to put in, I forgot my number, I think it was 7 root 2. Oh, in fact I should have had a 7 here, shouldn't I? Adjacent was x and this is 7, 7 here. So this should be 7 root 2. Multiply by 7 root 2. Okay. And 7 root 2. So that's fixed. So it's 7 root 2 cos 45. Going back to the calculator. So I need to put 7 root 2. Now we have to be careful here because I'm still under the square root sign. So I want to go ahead and get out of that. And I'm going to go and do that. See that error? And it got me out from, out from under the root sign times cosine 45. So this is cosine 45. Let's press enter. So I get 7. So I get x using the calculator. x is equal to 7. This time I use the cosine function. Let's do it using special triangles or the 45-45-90 theorem. When it's 45-45-90, we know that the hypothesis Use, and I'm going to use the red color this time, is equal to the short side, which is, this is a short leg. So the hypotenuse is equal to the short leg, which is x times root 2. In fact, since this is, I saw this will be root 2 as well. So I have my equation looking at the diagram. 7 root 2 equals x root 2 divided by root 2 divided by root 2. x is equal to 7. So it checks both ways. Uh, again, reminder, when using the calculator, make sure that you are in degree mode.